for me i was looking for like an institution that was reputable in terms of its clinical excellence research and all of the things that you need to be a good trainee and you know good training uh, experience and also wanted to be in a place where i would be personally happy and that's kind of what the u was for me it was kind of hitting the jackpot on both those counts So for me, I really wanted a program that offered me the chance to get an MPH while I was in fellowship. And so I wanted a program that really, in some ways, allowed me to create my own experience. And the division itself, um, there's so many strengths that are very unique to the program. We are now going to be doing a full morning block of didactics once a month. And why that is really nice is because we're going to just protect that time for learning. And so if you are on service, you will not be listed on call during that period. Um, and so you really have that dedicated time, um, one morning, once a month, to just be focused on your education. It really kind of speaks to how trainee education is the priority of the program. So there are um, three different sites uh, for your hospital services. So that's the U, which is the University Hospital, which is a tertiary center, which has transplant and, you know, the sickest of the sick folks that who come there to, to see you. And that's really good training that you get there. Then you have the county hospital, which is Hennepin County Hospital, which sees a lot, a lot of underserved populations. You deal with a lot of social issues, so you get training um, on how to help um, that kind of situations. Um, and then there's the VA hospital, um, which gives you uh, its own unique population and kind of uh, things you deal with. You really have the opportunity there to pick either a site you're interested in, um, so a lot of our fellows will do work with the VA, versus um, if you're more interested in an area. And so if you're interested in a specific disease or a specific population, there's really the connections there to match you to projects or just to match you to people who are interested and you can develop your own project. Whatever like, little niche you can find and you want to kind of uh, become an expert in, the leadership of the program, they, they are fully committed to making that happen for you. So when I started fellowship my first year, uh, the chief fellow at that time reached out and said, hey, what are you interested in? And so um, just with that initial conversation, I said, you know, I'm, I think I'm kind of interested in this public health area. I'm a little interested in global health. And so uh, she took it upon herself then to email a couple of people that she had in mind. And uh, from there on, um, I've been able to do projects with both of them, but also they have greater networks of people as well too. Like they were able to guide me in a way that developed a research mentorship team for me that really helped me uh, become, you know, um, really well versed in the area that I chose. Being at a large university has that nice variety of places you can go, but the fact that the infectious diseases division is small still makes it so that it's, um, everyone is very approachable in your division itself. So it doesn't feel like you're cold calling or cold emailing people to get help. Um, you end up within the first few months knowing most of your mentors and knowing most of the people in the division itself. And to add to all of this, you know, as a trainee, I think it's a really lovely group of people. You know, trainees, uh, faculty, um, I would say every single one of them uh, has become a friend. I feel really blessed that this is where, you know, I ended up. So life in the Twin Cities is great. It's kind of got the best of both worlds, I would say. It's got all the things you would want from a larger city. You know, what do you need? Like your yoga studios, your, you know, patios with twinkly lights and, you know, all of those things. And, um, but also the lakes and all of the outdoorsy stuff. I would say again that just a plug for our program here is that you have the ability to really follow whatever path you want. Um, you also have the ability to change your mind and be exposed to um, new things or decide to pursue a different path while you're still here. Uh, there's nothing that says when you come, you have to have your mind and your career set in stone. Um, we're all here to help you become the physician you want to be. Mm -hmm.